Well, hello to all you miniatures enthusiasts out there on the interwebs. This is Doc Eon coming to you with a different kind of video for this channel. It's a review, but not my usual kind of re review. It's a miniature review. I've mostly reviewed games before, but this company, Eldritch Foundry, reached out to me and wondered if I wanted to uh, review their product on my channel, and I agreed. So, first of all, up front, full disclosure, um, I was given this miniature as a freebie, as, as, a, as a review copy, so I've not paid anything for it. Um, <clears throat> now, what is Eldritch Foundry? Uh, and again, this is not going to affect my review in any way, I just wanted to state it up front so it's all out in the open. Uh, Eldritch Foundry is a company that <clears throat> lets you uh, design your own mini within certain parameters. You you have very you you build a mini from various menus uh, and pose it, and then you can either have them print it out for you th on their three D printer and send it to you, which is what this is, or you can buy the digital file, the STL file, and print it out yourself, which is much cheaper. So, what did we get? I, I've I've taken it out of the box and inside the box with this uh, little plastic bag with a tin. Uh, there's some foam padding here um, and a 20 sided die. Within the tin, which is nicely constructed, is the miniature in wrapped in a lot of bubble plastic and this is a promotional sticker. So I'll unwrap this off camera and show you what it came out as. So this is the printed figure that I made. This is like an elven sword mage was my idea behind it. And the way I designed it was I wanted to test both smooth and textured surfaces to see how the printing would handle it. Now, it's kind of hard to make out because it's printed in black. Uh, but it looks very clean. Uh, there is practically no flashing. I can see there's a little place under her chin, but that might be a strand of hair there. We'll have to see when I um, clean it up and prime it. Uh, there's an integrated base which is a little thin. I will mount this onto another base for stability. Uh, just a plain flat plastic base. This is, uh, I measured this, this is 25 millimeters in diameter. And now I'm not an expert in 3D printing. The, the examples I've seen have been from, uh, mostly from my friends who have filament printers and what happens with those is you get lines in the mini from the layers where they stack up. Um, this does not have those. What it does have is like a, a texture to it. Everything is has a little roughness, a little like it looks like pores. It, it kind of looks like a metal cast. Um, you know, metal casts are never perfectly smooth. They have a slight uh, texture to the surface. It looks this looks like that, only slightly more pronounced. But uh, this is part of the review process. We'll see what it looks like when painted up. And I'm I'm not going to go through the entire painting process with you in this video. This is not a tutorial. I'm just going to stop at a few. Uh, places where I want to um, show you something. Right. So, next up, the workbench. Oh, and one more thing. I, I think I figured out what, what these are for. Uh, it's for transportation, probably. Uh, so if you put these pieces of foam in, the tin, put the mini in, put a piece of foam on top, and you can carry your nicely painted mini to your gaming session. Uh, I would probably add one more piece of extra foam, you know, 
but if you paint a lot of minis, you have a lot of blister packs, <laughs> and and you can get the foam inserts from those. You can add those. Um, the D20 is. It looks like your average uh, one dollar uh, die. The twenty has the Eldritch Forge logo on it. Uh, Eldritch Foundry, sorry. Um, so they were custom made for them. That's cool. Okay, so there wasn't that much to clean, I, but I just washed it in some soapy water, warm water, just just in case. I always do that precautionary measure. Uh, I also glued it onto a standard Reaper 25mm round base and noticed that so this printed base is just a hair uh, more than 25 mils because it's hanging out over, over the edge a little bit in some places. That only bothers the possessive compulsive people like me. I might shave it down with my knife just you know, just to 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 um, satisfy my compulsions, and, and then we'll prime it. Um, as I and, and I'm gonna paint this just using my normal techniques, to not not do anything special, because I want to compare what this material is like to um, to cast miniatures, whether it's metal, plastic, or resin cast. And it seems, I'm not sure what this is exactly, uh, but the material has a little bit of a give to it. It's, it, I know they talk about resin printers, but this, if this is resin, it's not like cast resin because cast resin is, is uh, usually very brittle. And this has a bit of a give to it, though it's harder than something like Reaper Bones, at least older Reaper Bones, which are very soft. So, so this can, take a rather thin object and uh, but still not be you know something that'll break off immediately as soon as you breathe at it um, but because this is in all in black I will prime it a lighter color so we can actually see something of the detail <laughs> hang around be back for that there we go all primed now Again, as I said, I'm using my normal methods. So this is all Vallejo surface primer through my airbrush. And, and as I said, in a lighter color to try to see some more of what the model looks like. Now, I might be, be uh, this might be wishful thinking, but it kind of looks like the primer has filled in a little bit of the roughness in the texture of, of, the, uh, of the surface. I'm not sure. We'll uh, we'll have to see when I get more paint on it. Um, so, yeah. But uh, what I can tell now after after getting some light and shade on it, so it's not all black, is that uh, the print is extremely clean. It has a lot of detail, and it yeah looks good so far. Let's go to the painting stage. Yeah, so this is what she looks with some undercoating. Um, <clears throat> now, I don't recall if I said this already. I'm old and my memory is getting bad, but I'm not going to do a full paint tutorial on this mini. That's not what this video is about. It's a review of the the product of, of the mini, not of my painting. Um, so I'm going to skip to the end pretty soon cut to the chase, so to speak. But I wanted to point out one thing that is a little odd and that I'm going to see if I can rectify is that her eyes, they're very black, you know. This is because they're big gaping holes. They're just lightless voids. <laughs> in the printout, for some reason, there's no material in the eyes, which means you can't paint the eyes. Now, maybe this is I don't know if this is intentional. If they feel like, oh, painting eyes is difficult, let's make it easy for people and just leave that area of the mini really dark. Because a lot of people who, paint, who, who, who do paint eyes just throw some dark paint in there and leave it alone. But I don't do that. 
so I'm going to try to f see if I can fill it in. Uh, and yeah, be right back to show you if I managed that, if I succeeded. Okay, so there, I think I fixed it. I used some, uh, uh, well, I forget what this is called, uh, this Vallejo white stone liner. This is the same as their plastic putty, just in a bigger bottle. Uh, <clears throat> and I smoothed it out and uh, I, I put some, um, some wash in there just to make sure that uh, it wouldn't sink in. So hopefully you can see that the eye sockets are now not just totally blank holes. I, I will be able to actually paint them. So, um, yeah, that's enough prep, I think. Next step, finished model. I'm going to jump right ahead to that. See you there. And so here we have the finished miniature. As I warned you, it's not super high display quality or anything. It's what I consider to be a mid to high tabletop quality paint job. Um, I, I, I think that's a better thing to aim at in a review, review anyway, because this is an achievable look that you don't have to spend 20 hours to get. And yeah, I'm... I'm reasonably happy with how she turned out. Um, now, to review the actual product, what was the actual miniature like to paint? It was fine. It was good. It was, uh, yeah, it was like uh, like a normal mini. Um, there are some, some things about it that were artifacts of the creation process, like the gaping holes for the eyes, but I was able to fix that. And um, otherwise, I did not have any issues. Um, in fact, the the material is kind of forgiving, and, uh, and I, you know the thing I was worried about was the surface texture. I don't think it comes across. Maybe 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 in in this close up macro photography you can you can see it, some of it, but. For example, the the uh, the wash of a plastic putty I did on the face seems to have smoothed that out, at least on the face, quite a bit. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with the product. It does what it's supposed to do. And of course, the advantage of of a service like this is that you can choose the pose and the the exact equipment and so forth. That the miniature has to your own specifications. Uh, I, I realized I, I didn't uh, include any really small texture like chain mail. Maybe I should have tried that because uh, that's a, a, a test for what 3D printing can manage. But you know, otherwise, uh, a positive grade. So, do I recommend getting uh, a miniature from this company? Well, if you want that flexibility of deciding exactly what it's going to look like. And, you know, there are limitations. You cannot create the, the most dynamic poses. I mean, when, when, when something is sculpted specifically, uh, it, it can be really wild. So they're mo they're mostly going to be standing up and, and uh, in, in relatively normal poses. Uh, the big the big issue though is cost, and this is of course a thing with all these services, and especially because I'm not in the U.S. Now, I, of course, I myself did not pay anything for this. It was a review copy, but if I had paid for it. Um, and had it printed by the company and sent to me, uh, the total, including <clears throat> overseas shipping and then uh, taxes and, and customs fees when it arrived, would have been quite a lot of money. Um, comparing to buying uh, um, a normal, you know, classically sculpted mini, 
we're talking a factor of between five and ten times as much in cost. Are you willing to pay that? Well, I don't know. It's maybe for, for if you've got a really, really specific miniature in mind for your player character that you're going to use for an entire campaign and you want it to look just, just right. Sure, go for it, I suppose. Um, of course, only you can decide what's expensive for you, but... Um, there is another option, of course. They provide the ability to, to just buy it as an SDL file that you can download and print out yourself if you have access to a 3D printer. Um, I have not tried that. Um, I don't own a 3D printer myself. I have a friend who has one, but he has a relatively simple um, filament printer. It's not a resin printer. And I, I do not know what it what the result would be if we, we use that. So, um, hmm, maybe that's something to experiment with another time. But I, I do think that if you live outside the U.S., getting the STL file is just a few dollars, and if you have access to a, to a 3D printer, that's a much more affordable option. Again, you make the decision. And of course, if, if you are in the U.S., <clears throat> I know some people are who, who watch this, then the cost is is probably total in total about half of what I would have to pay. It's it's uh, it's a lot cheaper for you guys. Still a little bit more than than a normal mini, but I think more more achievable. So those were my closing thoughts. And then the only remaining thing is to take some uh, still pictures of this in my light box and show you what it looks like in, in uh, close-up. And after that, I'll close out this review. So thank you for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. But that would be it. Takiyan, out.